back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about seven things that I gave up to become a millionaire. <laughs> okay guys, so you're gonna be hearing the word a millionaire a lot from now on. You're gonna see it in my titles and you're going to see it in my videos because that's what level we're on for now on, okay? We're on the vibration of millionaire status. That's where we're manifesting. So get used to it, put it in your mind, put it on your calendar, <laughs> take note, because that's what we're doing on this channel, okay? So anyways, the first thing that I gave up to become a millionaire, this was one of the hardest things I had to give up. I was so attached and it took me years upon years thinking about giving this up and I finally did it and that was cable TV. I gave up cable TV. I feel like it was so hard because I was attached to it. I feel like it was something that my kids needed. And I don't know. I just feel like maybe I'll be a bad mom for not having cable. And let me tell you, we don't miss it at all. I have not had cable for five years. I replaced cable with Netflix. I couldn't even be any happier. I don't miss it at all. I don't even know why I had such a hard time giving up cable but that was the first thing i gave up was cable tv i was so addicted to the real housewives of atlanta so yeah girl i had a hard time with giving up that cable <laughs> and cable tv cost me about a hundred dollars a month so i no longer have that in my budget and i'm so glad i cut the cord <laughs> All right, the second thing that I cut out of my budget that I got rid of to become a millionaire was lawn care service. That was a little hard for me as well, being a single mom, being a single woman, and having all of this land. Like, I have a big backyard, and my yard goes up like a mountain. So I couldn't even get like a push lawnmower because I had to like go up the hill, you know? So losing my lawn service was a big deal and a big sacrifice. That means I do my own lawn, but I did get a riding lawnmower. It's not hard at all. It takes me about 45 minutes or so to do my whole lawn. It's good exercise for me. I get me my vitamin D. I don't regret it at all. And I don't miss it. So I've been doing my own lawn service for about three years or so. One of the things that I did to really help me do my lawn care on my own is that I went ahead and paid someone to pull out all of the bushes. That was just too much labor for me, too much work trimming all the bushes. It just took up too much time. So I paid this lawn person about $500. He took out all the bushes and it was a lifesaver and a time saver okay so yeah lawn service no more it was about 75 dollars a month for my lawn service and actually that was a good deal i would think for my yard it would be at least 150 dollars a month but we're going to go with what i actually saved which is 75 dollars a month of me paying lawn service don't have to worry about that anymore just put on my sunscreen, you know, and I'm good to go. The third thing that I gave up, and this was something that I was addicted to in my 20s, okay? I think all of us, for the most part, are. After years of years of having this item or having this bill, I realized it was such a waste of money. And that third thing is a car payment. Having a car payment every five years, every time you're done with your car payment, you get another car, it's such a waste of money. The interest, the extra fees they add on to it, the warranty fees, all of these unnecessary fees that they add on to your car payment is ridiculous. I say I'm saving at least $400 a month on car payments, and I really believe People are paying a lot more than that because of their credit or whatever the case may be. But we're just going to tack on $400 a month that I am saving on not having a car payment. I'd rather save up the money and just purchase my car 
cash. That is the third thing that I have got rid of to become a millionaire and that is a unnecessary monthly car payment notes. So this is the fourth thing that I have given up and you guys already know if you've been watching my videos Speaking of watching my videos, a lot of you guys are watching, but you're not subscribed. I don't understand it. I'm, I don't. I don't get it. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing with your life if you're not subscribed to this channel? I'm gonna need you to just stop what you're doing. Like, stop watching for like a second and hit the subscribe button. I need you to hit the notification bell as well. So when your girl pop through, you're like. There she is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need me in your life. And I need you as well. So, I'm going to need you to just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yeah? Alright, cool. Let's continue on. So, the fourth thing that I have given up to become a millionaire is mortgage payments. Okay? Rent. Okay? A fee to lay my head in my bed <laughs> I no longer have a mortgage payment I would say this has been the biggest sacrifice of working a lot of hours putting in those man hours to have the extra principal only payments that I made for three years to become 100% debt free to become 100% mortgage free. So that is the fourth thing that I gave up to become a millionaire. And I have to say that is definitely my biggest sacrifice and I don't regret it at all. Not having a mortgage is definitely a big factor of me becoming a millionaire. So number five, I feel like number five may be a little surprising to some of you guys. Maybe, maybe not. And I feel like a lot of people are like always on me on this one. And that is an iPhone. Why don't you have an iPhone? Like you're on YouTube. Like it's very surprising that I don't have an iPhone since I am on social media. I just can't, I just can't do it. I, I, I just can't. They're so expensive. And I'm pretty sure they're worth it, but that is one of the things that I have given up not to have to become a millionaire, okay? And I will add good phone service on with that category, okay? I don't have the best phone service. It's a little annoying. Okay, three phones. I only pay $95 a month. I pay my phone bill, my son's phone bill, my daughter's phone bill. And I also pay $15 for internet service on my iPad. I'm actually going to change my iPad internet service because it's just that, it's not that great. And that is very important for me as far as like my business and things like that. But yeah, I gave up on an iPhone and great phone service. <laughs> so I would say I'm saving about $50 a month not having an iPhone and not having the best phone can you hear me? Good. Can you hear me now? No. Can Can you hear me now? You can You can't. You can't hear me. Girl, I'm gonna have to just call you back. Not having the best phone service and not having a iPhone. So that is the fifth thing I gave up to become a millionaire. So this one, this one is hard to really verbally say out loud. I have a little bit of guilt on this one, okay? And I've always kept this one like to myself. But if I'm going to be totally honest, I have to be honest. The sixth thing that I have given up is health insurance. That's about $600 a month that I'm saving. I just feel like it's a waste of money. I'm healthy. I don't feel like it's a great investment for me. Some people may be against this decision and that's okay. But I'm going to be honest. I'm going to have to throw this in this video. And that is I gave up health insurance. I don't have health insurance. 
So that is one of the things that I have given up to become a millionaire. And the seventh thing, guys, the seventh thing of the seventh thing, guys, that I have given up. This is not going to be surprising at all. But the seventh thing that I have given up is lunch. Okay, I don't spend money on lunch. I pack my food. I'm saving at least $300 a month on lunch. I'm okay with my little salad, my little peanut butter sandwich, whatever it is I need to take to work, my water bottle. I am not going out on no lunch break, okay? I am good. That is the seventh thing that I saved, which is lunch money. And that's about $300 a month that I do not spend on. So that way I could become a millionaire. My total savings on not having these seven things that's going to help me get to my millionaire status is $2,809 per month, okay? How much is that per year? That is a total savings of $33,000 and seven hundred dollars okay thirty three thousand dollars and seven hundred dollars a year okay so i can put six thousand dollars to my roth very easy so what's minus six thousand that leaves me twenty seven thousand and seven hundred and eight dollars to invest every single year guys tell me what are the seven things that you're going to sacrifice to become a millionaire let me know in the comments I really want to know thank you so much for watching guys and as always peace <laughs> and love